Okay, guys, doing another video. I figured, got all my guns there and over there, so might as well do them all over here. This is my 1943 Mosin and Gaunt original PU sniper. The refinished stock. I, I believe it's birch. You guys can correct me if it's a little wrong, but I think it's birch. I don't know. Yeah, but sand it all down. Clean up with steel. I, I, I left these spots in just because I was too lazy to get them. But it's just tongue oil on there, so should be fine. But never know. Original leather scope cover. Come on. And there's those always iconic Mos and the Gaunt. Three post with the little triangle in the middle style. I think the nicest thing about this though is that the thing has graduated in hundreds of meters or Something like that, like one, two, three, four, all the way up to thirteen, I believe. Yeah, all the way up to thirteen. And I just have plus and minus windage there. But still gotta figure that out a little bit, but got all matching numbers. Pop this open for you. This is probably the stickier of the two bolts I have, but that still works pretty good even. Got that nice silver, well, I guess not silver, steel bolt. Very nice. Nice clean, empty chamber for all you guys that are going to criticize about this. I want to say that. I know most of you won't do that, but no, you never know. That's, that's it there. All original hardware. And the interesting thing I find is that you know, I might as well do both guns in one video. We'll put that there for a moment. Grab this other one here. Mosins all have somewhat sticky bolts because they got that whole cock on open system there. But I guess, I guess lots of guns. chamber for you guys out there you can ask this is the 1938 model fancy fancy 1938 awesome the darker wood on it but on these ones see how they got the full Sling mounts there. 39, Russian engineering at its finest. Not rushing anywhere. And then you go over here and you got that. Yep. What a cheap bunch. Wait. Does this look that much less expensive than that? Mm -mm. But. Just it's a lot faster to put a little piece of metal there and bend it down than have to put in, I guess it's eight bolts, eight screws, I suppose. Oh well, what you gonna do? Yeah. You got your sight graduated out. Wait, I'm just gonna set it that high. They say the effective range is out to like 1300 meters. Who's gonna do that? 1900 meters? No way. But that's stupid. Like, by the time you look down the sights, you've got your gun at like a. Oh, I don't know how you can even do this. That's like insane. 
whether or not you can actually get anything hit at that distance, I don't know. Maybe with volley fire, one in a thousand bullets might hit, but I don't think so. Are they in the chamber? Ammo's in the truck, there's none in the house. Nice decocking leather, lever. <laughs> the safest gun ever invented, actually. <laughs> and if you believe that. <laughs> Your nice turn down bolt because if you had a straight bolt, you'd be bumping into the scope there. They gotta have that to slide by, but pop that in. <laughs> Two ways to decock the thumb method. How much I trust that? Not at all. <laughs> or you can always do the always popular, yeah. Which one of those do you trust? Hopefully neither, because neither one seems that good, but... Mmm, nice gun. Nice guns. Very simple mounting system. I, t I tighten that so I can't twist that back off. But very nice guns. Very reliable guns. Zombie apocalypse comes. I'm gonna want one of these bad boys. Nice guns. Hope you guys enjoyed it.